Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. I want you to see that I was going to be greasing these zerk. We have fought with uh, this mattress. We are out in the, the Saguaro National Park. Susie and I are taking a little hike. This is called the Desert Discovery Trail in the midst of the Sonoran Desert. So per the sign here, the reason the shrubs are all spaced out is because of this competition for moisture and nutrients in the sandy soil. I thought it was all arranged very nicely. The creosote bush, their roots secrete a growth inhibiting toxin into the ground to discourage encroaching plants. Sue's really brave. Stick her finger between all those thorns. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> We just think this is God's garden. It is just planted 
so beautifully. It's almost, you'd think it was man-made. It's just gorgeous. I wonder if these are called barrel cactus. It looks like a barrel. Enjoying our walk and this chala is dying. Skeleton underneath, down here even. But then, and there's one little bit that's alive. This is I'm trying to capture all these spider webs. Weird cactus that formed like a wire. You're not this cute squat one. Looking for rattlesnakes. It's in the mid 70s today. So we're walking along down this little road here in the desert and come up and we thought for sure it's on alligator. It's just like an alligator. I love when the sun shines through these cactus. That is so pretty. A real red tint to it. <laughs> Once again, I get underneath, get started on the job, and forget to video. I wanted you to see that I was going to be greasing these zerks. And I got this off the internet. There's nine points where uh, on an F53 chassis that need to be greased. And these had not been greased since I owned the RV. I crawled under here. I bought this grease gun. It's pretty nice, a little heavy, but it has a handle that right here, and it's full of grease now. It hooks onto the Zerk. So I was able to get under here and, and grease these. Uh, let me show you a couple points, and there's some that are hard to find. Now under here, you have one right there, and you have one over there. And then there was one up on top there. On the other side, you have six of them. So there's that bar. There's that bar right there that goes up, and there's a uh, zerk on that, and then up at the top. And then over there, there were four more around that wheel. And I'll put a link to the grease gun and the grease that I bought in the comments below. We have fought with uh, this mattress uh, since we got it. The original mattress was not good. It was just an RV mattress. It came with the RV. We bought this topper. Well, the topper was no good because it kept sliding off the side and the bottom of the bed. Also, it dented in really deep because it's just solid foam. It wasn't. Too, it was comfortable, but it just wasn't it. We splurged and we bought this wilderness mattress. This is a wilderness RV mattress that is very expensive, twelve hundred dollars. But we got a New Year's Eve sale. They got it for a thousand dollars. Tokyo, you ready for the new mattress? And uh, so I've got to cut this and open it up and get it unfolded. This is the strong plastic that goes over. Second bag. Move, Bubba. <laughs> yeah, you better move, Bubba. This thing is gonna go. 
You better move. Move. Did you get that? Oh, I'm crushing me. <laughs> <laughs> Wilderness RV Mattress. And we don't have enough followers on YouTube to be sponsors, so we had to buy it. And so we will give you our honest opinion. Down in my base, they have like a felt. I wish it had a rubber bottom or plastic or something else. So when I was at Walmart the other day, Sue found this product. And I've seen other people use it. I'm gonna try it and put it in the base. It's an interlocking mat. Let me show you. You see, it's, it's a fitness mat, and there's like six pieces, and they have interlocking edges. So it cuts easily with scissors, and what I did was I put the smooth sides, cut the back, and then over here, I had to cut a little out that side and that side, but then this is the cool part, is then it just snaps down together and look at that uh, rust stains from this tool box I've got an oil thing in here and a lot of liquids and then one time my water pump as you all know leaked and so then I had water in here uh, even though this wouldn't stop the water I would have to pull it out this is the flannel in the side it's a real loose weave and it's easy to get dirt, and so I really like having this nice, smooth, durable surface on the bottom. Be nice if Baystar did something like this instead. I brought my Jeep over to Tucson Mountain Motors to get the heater core replaced, and that's the number one thing that goes out in these Jeeps, and that wasn't cheap. It cost $1,600 to get the heater core replaced. Because they have to take out the dashboard. Pretty good shop. 